Hi, this is Alfauzia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss today is mean. Let us see mean and the formula to find the mean. Statistics is a very important branch of mathematics as we all know. The most commonly used term in statistics is mean. Mean of a data is also termed as average. In the simplest cases, it is calculated by finding the sum of the whole data and then dividing it by the total number of observations. That is the reason the mean is also called as arithmetic mean. The statistical calculation of mean depends upon the type of data given in the question. There are uh, generally two types of data. The data may be classified into two types on the basis of the information given. It could be ungrouped data or grouped data. Ungrouped data means it is just a raw data which is written in terms of a list of numbers and there are no groups. I will give you an example for ungrouped data. Now let's see what is the grouped data. Grouped data is also a raw data set that is able to be managed or grouped by the construction of a table which shows the distribution of the frequencies among the data set. The table is also known as frequency distribution table and such data is called as grouped data. This is one type of frequency table and there are also some frequency tables with class intervals. Instead of whole number for the x-axis there will be given some class intervals. I will show you one more example for that. This is the example for the frequency distribution table with class intervals. And if you are getting a problem like this, you should concentrate on the class intervals and check whether they are continuous or not. If they are not continuous, you can make it continuous using a formula. I have uh, given a video on that topic. You can refer to one of our previous video. So in this video, we are going to learn about the grouped data and calculation of mean of grouped data. Mean of the grouped data can be calculated by using following two methods. The first method is direct method and the second one is the assumed mean method. Direct method can be used when the grouped data is given. If the given observations are denoted by xi and their corresponding frequencies are denoted by fi. I will give you the formula. Then we can see an example and show you the calculation. Here is the formula to find the mean for a grouped data using direct method. x bar is the mean of the given data and summation of i equal to 1 to n fi is, is the sum of all the frequencies and they are denoted by capital N and the top row the numerator summation of i equal to 1 to n fi xi is the sum of the products of the frequencies and their corresponding observation. So this is the formula to find the mean. Let us suppose the given observations are x1, x2 to xn. I will write it on the board and the frequencies be f1 to fn. In order to calculate mean by this method we should follow the steps mentioned. I will be giving you steps. First, step 1, construct a table in which there are 3 columns. Step 2, in first column write all the observations. And next step is, in the second column write all the frequencies. Also write down below the calculate the sum of all the frequencies. Sum of all the frequencies is nothing but you just have to add all the frequencies given. That is mentioned with the summation sign in the formula. As a next step in the third column calculate the product of each observation and corresponding frequencies. And then you have to find the summation for this one too, for this column too. And next step would be you have to divide the value that you got in this step and divide the value you got in this step. You just have to divide both so that you will get the required mean. So these are the steps to calculate the mean. Now let me take an example and explain you step by step. Here is an example. We are asked to use the direct method. A table is given. So let us first construct the table with three columns. In the first column, I am going to enter these numbers. And in the second column, I am going to enter the frequencies. That is the number of employees. And in the third column, I am going to multiply the frequency with the corresponding x values. Let me show it on the board. I have just noted down all the given information as x and f. x is nothing but the daily wages and f is nothing but the number of employees given in the question. Now let's find the product. Multiply the x value and the frequency. You should multiply only the corresponding values and write. So 90 times 1, 10 times 2, 100 times 2, 1000. So just multiply these two numbers. So we will get 
110, 360, 780, 560 and 750. Hope you are clear with the table. Now we need to find the summation of the column 2 and summation of the column 3. Summation is nothing but you just have to add all the values in that column. So by adding all the values in the second column frequencies, I am getting 22. I am going to use summation uh, symbol to denote this. Same way you have to find the total, no total value for the next column. Just add all the values. I am getting 2850. Hope you are getting the same value. So far we have constructed a table, entered the values and multiplied the frequencies with its corresponding x values and we found the total of frequencies and total of the products. Now we are going to use the formula. What is the formula? Summation of the product Fixi divided by summation of Fi. Just plug in the values that you got in the table as total. So 2850 divided by 22. By dividing I am getting 129.55. Since this problem deals with money, I'm just going to use the unit dollar in the answer. That's it for this problem. We are just asked to use the direct method given a table using the given information. Hope you are clear with the direct method. Okay, now let us see the second method. Second method is assumed mean method. In order to calculate mean by the assumed mean method, we should follow some steps. There we are going to calculate, uh, we are going to create four columns. Step 1. Construct a table in which there are 4 columns. Step 2. In the first column write all the observations. From these observations, one middle observation should be considered as assumed mean. This observation is denoted by A. In the second column, we should write all the frequencies and below calculate sum of all the frequencies very similar to the direct method. In the third column, we are going to calculate the deviations. We just use this formula. This formula is nothing but we are just going to subtract the assumed mean that we got in step 2 from each of the given observation. And in the fourth column, product of each observation. Very similar to the third column in the direct method, we are going to do the fourth column here. We are going to multiply the values that we got in column 3 with the x values. Okay, now let me give you the formula for this one. This is the formula to find the mean for assumed mean method. Okay, let me take an example and explain you. Here is the example. Two columns are given, marks obtained and number of students are given and particularly we are asked to use assumed mean method. So let us construct a table. Let this be class intervals and this be the number of students. We are supposed to construct a four column table. In the first column, I have taken down all the class intervals and I am going to create a column for x. Uh, as I expressed, as I explained earlier, you have to find a assumed mean. It should be a middle number from the given information. From that value, we are going to create x values. In most of the examples, x values would be directly given. But in this example, I have taken class intervals so that I can explain you how to get x values for that. You just have to add the lower limit and upper limit and divide it by 2. So what will happen? 10 plus 20 divided by 2 is 30 over 2 which is nothing but 15. Same way you have to find the lower limit plus upper limit over 2. This is how we can find the x values for the examples with class intervals. So let me find the average for everything by adding lower limit and upper limit and dividing it by 2. So 30 by 2, 50 by 2, 70 by 2, 90 by 2 like that. So the x values would be if in case if in your example if the class intervals are not given only the whole numbers are given you can just skip this step. Okay. Now let us assume one mean value. Let the middle number be A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and here's a 5. Let this middle number be 55. I'm going to always pick the lower number. We have two middle numbers. I'm picking the lower number. Let this be A. Enter all the frequency values in the third one. Fourth column would be Xi minus A. Just subtract this 55 from each of the X values. For example, 15 minus 55, 25 minus 55, 35 minus 55, like that. By subtracting, I'll be getting some values. So that would be the values that you have to enter in the column D. So that would be, hope you're clear with the step. Now we are going to multiply the numbers in F and D column. Multiply the corresponding values 
4 negative 40 5 negative 30 4 negative 20 like that if you multiply you'll be getting fi times di hope you're clear with the tables i have entered all the given information in class interval and frequency i just found the average of lower and upper limit to find the values of x after this i have assumed some value let this be a and uh, column 4 is d you just have to subtract each value using a and fill in this column after that just multiply these values to get the last column and as usual like we did in the first method you just have to find the summation of the frequency column and the product column so what is the total that you're getting total for the frequency is 80 and total for the product of frequency and d value is 1560 hope you get the same value so let us plug in all these values in the formula Assume the mean formula is A is 55 and the top row would be 1560 the total that we got from the table and summation of frequency is 80. So plug in all these values here. 1560 divided by 80 would be 19.5. If you add 55 with that I am getting 74.5. It is always advisable to create a table to make the calculation mess free. So create a table and enter all the values do the calculation step by step and plug in the values in the formula to get the mean mean is the very simple the fundamental basic for the statistical data so far we discussed mean for group data in our next video let us discuss mean for ungrouped data hope you are clear with the concept see you in the next video thanks for watching have a